Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. this uh, lecture in this particular course on uh, analytical spectral and microscopy applications of uh, inorganic compounds and nano systems in the past uh, few classes we have been looking at the aspects relevant to the epr spectroscopy we made all basic things we also have looked at the corresponding uh, you know details of all of that uh, through variety of examples interpretations etc now we will uh, try to work together some examples to make whatever our understanding is is perfect that is given a spectrum going into the structure given a structure going into the spectrum this kind of an exercise that we can try to look at okay so in this uh, title it has let us work together and interpret as a class work we look both the organic systems as well as the inorganic systems uh, into this Okay, so what one needs to be aware in order to interpret the EPR spectra? What one needs to be aware in order to predict the EPR spectra? So you predict the EPR spectra by looking at the molecule structure and there is a spectrum given. Now you predict your uh, the structure or you work out the structure. So these are the two things which are interrelated. So what all we have, what is required to understand? Electron Zeeman, I have already explained to you. When you have a free electron put into a magnetic field, it gets uh, split into plus half, minus half, and that difference in the energy will depend upon your magnetic field, which is known as the electron Zeeman. So, you are bringing an electron transition using the microwave power, which is in the gigahertz range. Uh, so, that's the so that is understood already. The second aspect we need to know is the, the electron is there, but electron is there in some atom. So, this atom has the nucleus. So, that means electron is there, the nucleus, and there could be other nuclei attached to this nucleus, or there are other atoms which are attached to this atom where the unpaired electron density is there. Sometimes the unpaired electron density may you know run around, move around, which is basically the diffused electron density or conjugated electron density or electron density spending time fraction of its time at different nuclei in the neighbor. All of these we have looked at in the past and those all spin of the nucleus will interact with the electron because the, the electron, the unpaired electron spin has some S component which is felt at that particular nucleus. So, that is, so this is what we are talking in terms of the hyperfine, in terms of the super hyperfine, etc. So, this depends upon the I value if the I value of that nucleus or the neighbor nucleus which is connected is 0, then there is no coupling. But if I value is non-zero, there is a coupling. But that is not sufficient enough. You have to look at the abundance. Suppose the I value is not 0, couples, but if the abundance is lower than 3 or 4 or 0, then obviously you will not have any further splitting. So, so hyperfine, super hyperfine. So therefore, soup hyperfine and super hyperfine couplings basically gives a signature pattern for EPR. I have explained all of these in the earlier classes. Then I have also explained when you have the corresponding lines coming up because which I told you T2 and I if you have a, a n number of uh, equivalent nuclei you know surrounding that electron unpaired electron spin density then the number of uh, lines will come uh, in terms of 2 n i plus 1, where is the n is the number of equivalent nuclei, i is the spin of that particular type of nucleus. So, therefore, that is 2 n i plus 1. And in that, the intensity ratios I have already given. If you have one nucleus, then of half type or one type, etc. So, 2 n i both will work out. And the intensity ratios I have already given those uh, slides in the past. So, you need to be prepared with all this. 
G and isotropy also I have explained the one which is axial type, the one where the rhombic type. So, you have the G, the G x, G y, G z and if all three are different then it is rhombic and any one of those uh, and two of them will be very similar and then one will be different then you have the axial kind of thing. Almost all transition metal compounds most of it will show some kind of an isotropy or the other mostly axial occasionally could be rhombic also and quite a few times there will be overlap of all this partly axial body uh, rhombic all these kinds of things are there. The anisotropy brings the, the fuzziness in the uh, splitting pattern or signature pattern. So, hyperfine, super hyperfine gives a signature pattern. The anisotropy tries to give a little, you know, diffused manner in that. So, in this one, so we combine what you look at. Then, I also talked about electron spin electron spin interaction, these could be weak, the dipolar type, ferromagnetic, antiferromagnetic couplings or strong. So, when there is strong even at the uh, 0 external field could be a splitting because this is 2 s plus 1 and the 2 s plus 1 and when you apply the uh, magnetic field a complete degeneracy is lost and then 2 s plus 1 number of states you will get therefore, corresponding number of transitions. So, therefore, so in the case of uh, electron electron coupled systems what people will look at by changing the, uh, the field strength. Uh, at 0 field, then somewhat higher field, uh, further higher field, etcetera. You keep on changing the field and then look at the EPR spectra. That will also give the information. So, I have uh, summed up all the things that we have learned till now in, in the beginning of this, uh, of this particular topic, topic of working together, you and I together and that is where the thing is. So, these are the points which you should have made yourself ready when you uh, get into this particular topic of it. Okay. I think there is no other things are required, but if you are fully aware of these points then you are ok. Now, on I draw your attention completely onto the slides. So, we were talking about number of equivalent protons for example, for the unpaired spin uh, of that. Okay. So, for the unpaired spin is there somewhere and then you have the nuclei attached and the, if you take they are the protons then the i is equal to half. So, as such the electron will have the 2 and these are basically you know when you put into the magnetic field then you get the 2 uh, separated out and then you have the uh, transition. Now, if you have for that one proton is attached. So, the one proton will have the proton spin plus half and minus half. So, each of this will again split into the please look at the slide plus half and minus half again the excited state will also get the plus half and minus half. Now, what you will have based on the uh, selection rule you can see is one transition from this to this minus half to minus half is 0 differences plus half to plus half is 0. So, that delta m l should be 0 and then only you have transit. So, two transitions are there. Now, instead of one proton if you have two protons neighbor because that is where, where is number of uh, uh, protons you are talking about. Okay. So, that is you call it as uh, n. So, n is equal to 1 then you have uh, 2 into 1 into half plus 1. Okay. So, that is where uh, 2 n i is 1. So, therefore, you have 2 lines that you see. When you have n is equal to 2 then you have 2 into 2 into half plus 1 this is a, a 3. So, you can see the 3 lines you have. So, the 3 transitions because the delta m l delta m here it is shown as i should be 0. That means, the diff, the delta m value of the, the, the ground and this excited should be the same. That means, when you subtract the same it becomes a 0 minus of that. So, that is where. So, when you have 3 then you have 2 into 3 into half plus 1 so, that is 4 lines. So, that you can see there are 4 transitions coming 1 to here, the second one is from here, third one is from there and then the intensity ratio is shown in the bracket. So, here the 3 lines will be 1 to 2 to 1. Here the intensity is 1 is to 1, here the intensity is 1 is to 2 is to 1. So, 1 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 etcetera. These are all talked about in same poison ratio kind of thing 1 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 
and then when you n is equal to 4 uh, into plus 1, so that is 5 lines and this 5 lines is uh, 1 is to 4 is to 6 is to 4 is to 1, that is the ratio wise. Okay. Then if you have n is equal to 5, then you have 2 into 5 into half plus 1, so that is the 6, so this you have 1 is to 5 is to 10 is to 10 is to 5 is to 1. You do not need to mark, you do not need to remember, this is just known from the Poisson ratio by, by drawing the, the tree of that easily. So, now these intensities, now you have to couple with the I value, then you have to couple with the, uh, with the abundance value. So, these are the number of uh, transition that you will find, the two transitions, number of uh, lines in the spectrum 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the intensity uh, pattern. So, intensity pattern you will get not intensity, intensity ratio among the lines. Now, let us look at uh, a specific example of this. Now, you have taken uh, the methyl radical here. So, methyl radical means the unpaired electron is on the carbon center, but there are hydrogens associated with this 1, 2, 3 and there is no difference between 1 hydrogen, second hydrogen, 3 hydrogen, third hydrogen. Therefore, so, this is n is equal to 3 equivalent protons or hydrogens and uh, hydrogen has got a i value of half, we have already now just now worked out. Now, so if you look at this, uh, please have a look at on the slide. Uh, so, you have the minus half, the plus half, the single line, but this is further coupled with the 3 uh, hydrogens. So, the 3 hydrogens will give plus 3 over 2, plus half, minus half, minus 3 over 2 and similar. And now, this will go to that, uh, this will go to that, etc. There is totally 4 lines, it is the reverse in this. Uh, and the other way of showing is all 3 on the up spin, all 3 down spin and combinations, that is what is shown here. Uh, but that is not necessary, just in one case I am showing this, but in all other cases uh, there is no requirement of this. So, this will give what? This will give, this is the, this kind of a spectrum. So, 4 lines with 1, 3, 3, 1. So, this is 1, these are all differential derivative kind of a things and this 1, this is 2, this is 3 and this is 4 and they are 1 is to 3 is to uh, 3 is to 1 and that is where. So, how do you get this uh, radical? You take the, the methane, the derivative of the methyl radical in a methane matrix. So, you take some kind of a methyl halide and then you break that by using uh, external energy like gamma ray and then you will get a methyl radical trap in the methane matrix. At to trap in the temperature is very low that 4.2 Kelvin which is close to that of the, the helium. So, you make the liquid helium temperature then you can basically trap. I hope you understood that and let us look at a few examples. There is one example here, one there is another two, another three, four, five and six. There are six examples shown in that. Let us work together is move parallelly together. Cyclopentadienyl radical. So, cyclopentadienyl radical, not cyclopentadiene. Uh, so, this is, so this is radical anion. So, cyclopentadiene will have two double bonds. Cyclopentadienyl will have the three because one electron you have added and then the proton is lost. So, therefore, this is where you get cyclopentadienyl, dienyl radical, not some cyclopentadiene. Okay, that is what is important. Now, what you have here, this spin density will be moving in the hole uh, because the pi you have a uh, resonance of this. So, it will spend here, it will spend here, it will spend here, etcetera, etcetera. Each of this has got a hydrogen. Of course, there is a carbon, but carbon as you know that the carbon 12 is 0 i, carbon 13 is a half, but its uh, abundance is very low 1 percent. So, therefore, you do not need to look at the carbon at all, this is what I mentioned in the past several times. So, you have 5, since this is spin, uh, it is pi, you have the uh, uh, aromatic ring current type, therefore, these all these hydrogens are equivalent in cyclopentadienyl, not in cyclopentadiene. In cyclopentadiene, they are not equivalent. So, therefore, you remove one of the hydrogen. In the cyclopentadiene, you have, this is the one. So, in the dienyl, you remove one of them and that is where uh, you can make the anion radical. So, 
So, this one is 5. So, 5 means you get the 6 lines, 6 lines in this particular order. So, 1 to 5 to 10 to 5 to uh, 10 to uh, thing. So, you can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 lines have come into this. Sometimes you may get little uh, less because the uh, resolution entire range is not the uh, same. Okay. So, I hope you understood the cyclopentadienyl radical, not diene. Now, look at uh, this particular thing. This is a CH2OH radical. So, which uh, you can take the corresponding, uh, so let us say bromo CH2OH and put gamma radiation. Then you can get uh, the CH2OH with a radical on this. Okay. So, this radical obviously carbon coupling is not uh, uh, important or ignored than the hydrogens. So, you have two hydrogens here, this is a hydrogen far away, the electron density of this and this and this nucleus will be s electron density will be much low, but still you can see that because the spectrum shows if it is this, just this alone you should have got only uh, 3. So, that is the kind of a spectrum you would have got, but what you got in that is you can see the doublet here. So, doublet here and doublet here. So, that is where. So, each one of that is further split by this. So, therefore, first one uh, you get uh, uh, the three lines, two uh, hydrogens. So, that is three lines and each line is further split by this hydrogen that will be two, three into two lines. So, uh, a doublet uh, of uh, a triplet. So, a triplet which comes higher. So, which one will be higher? The one where you have the unpaired electron density is spending more, uh, that will have the greater coupling value. So, that means A value is greater for this and A value is much smaller for this. So, that is where you see too, please have a look at this particular thing. The difference between this to between this common center to this common center to common center that is 17.4 Gauss and between the two lines is 1.15. So, the difference is at least 15 times difference. So, this couples 15 times more stronger than this one coupling with this unpaired electron. So, that is what. So, this will spectrum you can generate the from the structure you can generate the spectrum as well. Okay. Now, look at uh, this one. So, what little connected kind of a thing. So, then uh, here you have the from a ether based radical. So, CH2 O CH3. So, if it is CH3, CH3 it is a methyl dimethyl ether of which you take in the bromide or iodide and uh, uh, treated with the gamma radiation to get this one. So, now what is this electron density will be greater with this obviously in that right. So, and uh, so therefore the coupling will be greater and the other methyl will have much smaller kind of a thing. So, therefore this one will give you the two means the two means three lines. So, this is three lines and here there are three protons will give each one will give because of this group this will give four, four lines each. So, this is written as three by four. Okay. So, you can see this is the three one two three there are three sets and each set is four lines one two three four lines and that is what it is three you do not read this as three into four but you will read it as three by uh, four uh, thing. So, a triplet initially so you have this and each of this is converted into quartet each of this is converted into quartet. So, three by four so that is where you have so you can see that part of it. Now, let us come to a little more complicated one. I think we have seen the easier ones. I hope you are following, you are doing it uh, as I keep doing. That is what uh, expect in this. Uh, so, here you have this uh, molecular system. So, what do you have here? These are the two points of connection. Then you have one on this side, one on this side and this center, this center will be different. So, these two will be same as these two. That means, one type of hydrogens there are four, the two second type of four again two here and two here four. So, there are 
two types of uh, hydrogens two types of uh, hydrogens that you will know from that. So, each one uh, has got n is equal to 4 and this also n is equal to 4. So, n is equal to 4 will give 5 lines okay? and each of the 5 lines will give further 5 lines each. Okay? So, that means what you need to find? You find uh, 1, 2, okay? each of this will be a quintet again. So, fine, you can see that and uh, 1 set 2, 3, 4, 5. That is a 5 sets, wherever the coupling is greater and coupling is greater from this ones 1, 2, then 1, uh, sorry, not 1 and 1 more here, one, same and 1 more here, totally 4. So, that gives a 5 and within that and the electron density will be somewhat smaller here and that will, that coupling will be smaller here, you can see the difference in the coupling is at least 10 to 15 times lower for this one as compared to the other. So, each one 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lines you can see. So, this is the quintet of a quintet. Also written as 5 by 5 lines. So, 5 by 5 lines that is what uh, you have. Okay, so, we looked at one more uh, little tough one and let us look at uh, one another is a reaction done and this reaction gives the corresponding product and the product uh, EPR is being measured or ESR is being measured and from that you can establish what compound has come. So, this is the compound which is treated in base and this is the coupled product that you get. The coupled product that you have, so this electron will have the spending time uh, on the at this carbon center, this carbon center as well as at this hydrogen center, at this hydrogen center. Now, this and this will be equivalent because it is symmetric and this and these are equivalent. So, that means you have one type of uh, hydrogens or two or uh, six that is two CH3 groups coming from uh, two CH3 groups. So, you have seen and the other one n is equal to 2 coming from hydrogens. Okay. So, that is what you can see here. So, that is these two the two hydrogens and these carbons you, you anyhow ignore and oxygens also you ignore because oxygen isotope there is nothing which has got a, uh, a nuclear spin and even if something has got there is no uh, abundance at all. So, you do not see anything I have already given in the initial. So, what is supposed to do? It is supposed to be giving 6 means 7 lines. This should give 7 lines septet and this should give 3 lines. So, this is the spectrum will be 7 by 3 and, uh, and sometimes some overlaps will be there, but anyhow you can see 1 set, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 sets are there, absolutely perfect. And each set if you see here, you can see 1, 2, 3. So, the, the splitting is much better on this because there will be some kind of a uh, dissymmetry kind of a parameter. So, you can see in, in the central lines very clearly and the terminal lines you do not see so clearly. So, that is the 7 by 3 uh, spectrum. So, the, all that you require is you need to know the electron spin density where it is and then how. Now, come to another uh, system here somewhat similar to this. Have a look at the, the slide please. And here what you have, so these 2 and 2 prime 6 prime they are similar, the 3 5 3 prime 5 5 prime is similar and 4 and 4 prime is similar. similar. There are totally 3 types of uh, 3 types of hydrogens, 3 types of hydrogens. Okay. So, in 1 n is equal to 4, in the other n is equal to 4, in the third n is equal to 2. Okay. So, that is where you would see and depending upon the coupling constant, the overall ratio will come. But here, if you look at this, you would see that 1 set 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 
So, 9 sets are there. 9 sets will come from what? The 8 proton. So, this the A uh, factor is not much different. So, it will be almost like equivalent, even though it is not exactly equivalent, but this comes out to be the equivalent. So, that will become n is equal to 8, that means 9 lines. So, you can see the 9 lines and each of these will have 2 will give the this this you have 1 and uh, uh, 2. So, you will have a triplet kind of a thing 9 line 1 2 3 4 ok is uh, yeah. So, this coupling is 5 uh, gauss and then each one of this 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9. So, 9 comes from this uh, the 8 equivalent protons and there are 2 uh, other uh, protons are there. There is some inequalities there that is why you will find uh, those things 3. Uh, of course, this each one of these is showing as a 5. So, each one of these is showing as a 5 lines. So, that means you have equivalent as the n is equal to 4 type. So, equivalent to that one. So, that means the coupling constants of the, these two are equivalent and one of them is also equivalent with that. So, therefore, you are finding the 9 lines with that of the 5 lines. Actually, you would have expected 9 by 3 lines, but you find in that because the electron density there is some kind of an asymmetry is coming into that when the electron density is sp spending at each of this particular kind of a uh, carbon. So, you get each 9 lines is correct 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, but it is also happening as I mentioned earlier initially I took that n is equal to 4 is equal to 4 that is where uh, these individual things are coming into the 5 5 lines into that. So, totally you have those number of lines of the 9 into 5 45 and there is some variation in the A value, A is the coupling value. So, if the coupling values are not too much of a difference between them between this and the other one. So, not like here where you have a 10 to 15 times difference, here it is 1 to 2 times difference only that you will find. Okay. So, these are the kinds of things that you can look at. Yeah. So, we looked at uh, the, in the previous case most of the th things are based on the carbon based radicals. Now, let us look at some nitrogen based uh, radicals. So, the nitrogen based radical is that NH2, NH2 uh, radical So, here it is not like carbon nitrogen has got uh, the N 15 has got I is equal to 1 and its abundance is more than 90 uh, percent or something. So, therefore, this is very important to take in the carbon we ignore. So, that means this will have coupling with uh, the I is equal to 1 as well as it will have coupling with the hydrogens as well. Okay. So, I is equal to 1 and how many uh, nitrogens are there 1. So, 1 plus 1. So, that will be 3 and then 2 equivalent hydrogens are there. So, each one of this is further 3 lines. So, this is 3 by 3 lines kind of a spectrum and you will have coupling with the nitrogen will be maximum and then followed by that and you can see that this is one set, this is second set, this is the third set and each set is triplet. So, you can see 1, 3, 1 is to 2 is to 1 kind of thing. Okay. So, that you can see the so NH2 radical spectrum as the 3 by 3 kind of thing. Okay. Let us look at this particular nitroxide trifluoromethyl bis trifluoromethyl nitroxide. So, has uh, this particular thing which radical on this okay. uh, N C F 3 C F 3 and this is N O. So, you are looking at this there is one the nitrogen thing because of this electron density will be pulled towards the C F 3 group. So, therefore, it will have a more time spent on this. So, such fluorines you have number is 6 the fluorine and hydrogen I is equal to half and then abundance is the almost the same. So, you can use that as the instead of hydrogen you can use that one. Then you have one each here. So, this will give 7 lines 
uh, because this is 2 into 6 into half plus 1 uh, that is 7 line nitrogen will give 2 into 1 into 1 plus uh, 1 that is 3 lines. So, this each of this uh, will become uh, 3 lines in that. So, you can see 7 sets 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 sets and then each one of these is by uh, 3 of them a triplet uh, in each of this case. So, 7 by 3 lines I guess the probably this this lecture time is done. So, we will continue with this some more examples of uh, the organic based or the inorganic based kind of a radicals and then we will also look at some coordination chemistry based ones uh, before we close this particular topic on EPR spectroscopy. Thank you very much.